So starting from the Planner tab, let's go ahead and link in OneNote into our projects here or our plans. So let's just go ahead and select on one here, HNI Software, and we're going to go ahead and click on Notebook. Now when we hit Notebook, it's going to automatically open us to the OneNote Notebook that correlates uh, with this project. And as you can see, there's nothing in it. HNI Software, you see here, it's Notebook again represented here. Now remember, this is directly from our planner. So this is for taking additional notes that you don't want to necessarily take within here. So let's see how do we get that notebook on our local machine um, for a local copy and that we can use it offline. So to do that, we're just going to hit, notice here there's no sections and no pages. We're going to hit here, edit in OneNote. And then we're going to select which OneNote to use, which is OneNote 2016. Now remember, this is a local copy of OneNote that's loaded on my system. And here it's going to have us log on to OneNote here. So let me go ahead and pause for a minute and log in. And so what I've done is I've gone ahead and put in my Office 365 credentials. And um, now it's logged me in. And as you can see, there's nothing really on the page here. I can see my other notebooks as well. But let's just stick with this one. And we're just going to add here a section here. And we're just going to call it test. All right, so we'll put something there. And then let's just go ahead and add a page over here as well. And we'll call it test too. OK, or test as well. <laughs> OK, so now we see one page and one note. We're going to delete that guy. And we're good. Now, notice here the little symbol here. This means that it's going to synchronize. And we're going to tell it to synchronize. OneNote does a pretty decent job of synchronizing immediately as soon as you make the change. So we just hit Sync Now to spawn it. We can also hit Sync All here. And we're just going to hit Close. And let's go ahead and go back uh, to OneNote. Now, we can close this. But you notice here that we've got the, no the section in here called test and now we see that test so let's do one more so we'll just say test or here we'll create a new page whoops now that's kind of weird that just did that all right I don't know why it did that but let's go ahead and put in here I hit a key and it did that so test from online all right and then uh, it should sync up and then let's go back over to the program here. Oh, I've got the code open. That's why. Hold on. Okay. And we're going to go over to the notebook itself. And then you see here, uh, this is our online version. And we're going to bounce back to this here. And we'll go ahead and hit sync one more time. Whoops, a daisy. And uh, make sure that that syncs for us. All right. And then in a moment, we're going to see that change appear here as well. So this is basically how you use, here's test from online. Um, this is basically how you use OneNote in association with your uh, planner software. So here you're doing your plan and you wanna take some extra notes, you can just simply click on that notebook and come over to here, or you can get to that notebook from here and see what's going on here as well. So, uh, and then there's that test from online. So, all works pretty well together. Uh, and that's how we use OneNote in association with Planner.